Walt Disney World Resort is tr the truly unforgettable food. But guess what? Those dishes don't just magically make themselves. We took a trip to the Flavor Lab to meet Disney's all-star chefs and mixologists to get a behind-the-scenes look to see how some of the most innovative food in the world is made. Check this out. <laughs> Walt Disney Parks and Resorts has over a thousand restaurants and bar locations worldwide. And if you've ever eaten at one of those, it all got its start here at the Flavor Lab. The Flavor Lab is this amazing 7,500 square foot facility where we create and collaborate to come up with our unique Disney storytelling through some of the most innovative food items in the world. Have you ever wondered what they eat on a Star Wars planet? or maybe what the Navi eat on Pandora. These are some of the things that we think about here in the Flavor Lab. One of the things that we're challenged to do from time to time is think about our iconic characters. And this is a dish that's inspired by Absalom, the caterpillar in Alice in Wonderland. So we've assembled a bunch of components that you'd find on the floor of the forest. Some mushrooms, creamy polenta. Then we have some crispy shiitake mushrooms. They almost taste like bacon. The thing we remember most about Absalom is that hookah pipe. So we have to give this dish a little bit of smoke. Our guests really enjoy when we get deep down into a character. At Drink, our mixologists and our sommeliers and our beer experts can work with our culinarians to think, what are the best beverage programs that would complement the food that those great chefs have created? How much of the tequila were we adding? An ounce and a half. Brad is working on some new cocktails for our very cool magic-themed bar, Abra Kedab Bar. We have been challenged by our Imagineers to come up with a drink that changes color. So even though this is a great-looking margarita, we give it a little magic. We pour it in. We say Abra Kedab Bar, Hocus Pocus, and we pour it back out. And that's our conjurita. Eat is where culinarians think about how we can be creative and do the unique storytelling through our menu items. So Chef Lenny today, he's working on some amazing dishes for Tiffin's, which is our new restaurant at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Tiffin's is a celebration of all the countries that the Imagineers visited. We have a braised octopus dish where the octopus is circulated for four hours in olive oil. And this is a whole fried bronzino. You'd think that that would be really scary for a lot of people, but we do want some adventurous foods available in our restaurants. So at Disney, of course, we need to think about the sweet ending to your meal. All of those amazing desserts are all created here by our pastry chefs. We're just fine-tuning our Mickey Dome cake for Amaret's Patisserie, our contemporary pastry shop at Disney Springs, where we meet art and pastry and combine them together. So we're known for great attractions, great parks, great resorts, but food and beverage touches all of those. And what we're really hoping to do is elevate the guest experience and have people make memories through their food and beverage as well. So much fun. And you guys, we've got the amazing color-changing drink. It's called the Conjurita from the Abracadabar at Disney's Boardwalk. Here to taste, give it a try. Mm. Limey, refreshing, perfect for a hot day. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, so it changes color over so, okay, while so, you drink it? Yeah, so what's cool is they bring it to the table and it's blue, and then they put it in a shaker and shake it up, and it magically turns purple. Oh.